Hi, my name's Sam Virtue and I'm a senior postdoc at the Institute of Metabolic Sciences in the University of Cambridge. So I work on the causes of diabetes and in particular how obesity leads to type 2 diabetes. We work on the actual fat tissue itself. Obesity is a disease where we accumulate too much fat tissue, which we call adipose tissue. We work on the concept that as people become fatter and fatter, eventually their adipose tissue stops working. And when adipose stops tissue stops working, it stops storing fat properly, and that fat accumulates in other organs, like our liver and our muscle, and that poisons them and causes diseases like diabetes. My primary school was very lucky to have a science teacher. He was called Mr. Olson, and even from the age of seven, he would come in and show us experiments, like how proteins, for example, with what I do, could become denatured. So how do you show a seven-year-old how a protein becomes denatured? Well, most of you will do it at home on quite a regular basis. As you cook an egg, the white, which is made of protein, goes from being a fluid, gloopy liquid into a white solid. And that's caused by all the proteins being denatured. I continue to be interested in science. I had some great science teachers at GCSE. When I went to do what would be A-levels normally in the UK, but instead I did the International Baccalaureate, I then began to focus on biology and chemistry. And my teachers, uh, Mike Walwock and Andy Truscott, were brilliant at bringing experiments to life. We did loads of great things, like we would do genetic experiments in biology with fruit flies, with red and white eyes. And Mike Walwock had come from ICI, a chemicals company, so we would do some quite dangerous practicals involving him detonating thermite in a fume hood. So it would made, basically it made science seem fun and exciting and interesting. I would say there are three main sort of areas of skills that you need to be able to focus on if you want to do laboratory science, even in biomedical science. The first is practical skills. You need to actually be able to physically do the experiments. I still remember when I first came into a lab and I'd done very little practical work, the difficulty I had handling liquids and pipetting with things. So it's a good idea to try and get some kind of experience of that as you're learning. Things like weighing stuff. We weigh incredibly small amounts of stuff chemicals and compounds. You might be used to weighing out 200 grams for making a cake. You might have to weigh out a thousand times less than that. Being able to do that is important. And if you can go into science with experience of that, it'll help. The other areas of skills we really do need to, um, are the ability to think logically and thinking about scientific problems and how to solve those problems in a logical series of steps is really important. And finally, even in biomedical science, we're now in an era which we call big data. We generate not just a few data points, but maybe thousands or even millions in one experiment. And a lot of our time is spent in front of a computer analyzing data. So it's good to have some good computer skills and some good math skills to help you with those. Okay, so if you want to be pursuing a career in science, the first thing you have to do is love science. And you have to be curious about the world. Because one of the really important things about being a scientist is being self-motivated. It's a type of career in which you're going to be very often the person who's going to be driving your project forward if you're going to be in academic science. So if you don't enjoy it, I would suggest this isn't the career for you. I think the other things you should do is to try and have a fundamental grounding in the subjects that you're learning. And in particular, you'll need some practical skills, as we've discussed already. But also, I would strongly encourage anyone to really make sure they do mathematics for as long as they can. Because with the way science is changing, even biological science, maths is going to be perhaps the most valuable skill you can learn.